Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to what I think may be our last parts of uh, Fall of the Samurai. And I thought I'd start off this battle by catching an enemy ironclad, unaware that it was, uh, you know, drifting around in my waters, and I happened to uh, catch it. And what I'm hoping to do is see if I can board it and take it on, you know, for myself with uh, one of the defensive fleets I had stationed in the area. Alright, so I'm going to deploy in the rain for the simple fact that uh, I want to be able to board that ship. But first off, we got to see if we've got any uh, ships with boarding capabilities. Oh, uh, we do. This one, this one, this one. Just about everyone. So I'm going to bring forward the frigate. I'm gonna send it in. I'm gonna see if we can board this ironclad. Yes, we will. Or can we not do that? Uh, apparently, we may not be able to board ironclads. Which is a shame. Regardless, let's just blow it out of the water then with our armored, advanced armored piercing shells. Where are the guns on this thing? I see that it's. It had what looked to be some Gatling guns up there. Oh, I see guns. They're on the front. So it doesn't look like these kind of types of ironclads are anywhere near as good as our imported ones. Well, that was that. Hey, would you look at that? We captured it anyway. No, no, let's send him back home and maybe repair him. But yeah. So, I'll get you caught up to what's been happening since you've been gone. I played a couple turns ahead. And now we finally have uh, the greatest army that ever was or ever will be. Um, loaded up and ready to go. They still need a general. I'll, I'll find someone when we get there to lead the troops. But uh, as you can see, they're they're quite the, quite the crew. Uh, consisting of plenty of Imperial Guard units, uh, Imperial Infantry, two units of Gatling guns, um, you know, the best cannons, the best cavalry, it's it's a force to be reckoned with right here. And they're sailing along, ready to start attacking the last holdouts. And hopefully, uh, taking the last provinces that we need. But, besides that, all of a sudden, there was a huge swath of, like, uh, these troops, these green guys, which clan is this? Um, oh, that's not the same clan. These guys up here. The Matsume clan, they had uh, they had a province right here, if you if you recall. And then they sent down, it was like four stacks of units. It was a quad stacker. And they came in, and they took this castle, and they then dispersed out. But I was able to take it back with uh, some reinforcing units. Now they dispersed out, and now I don't know what they're doing. Fortunately, my allies are defending this somewhat undefended castle right here. And it looks like this was kind of like their last march. And to a great extent, it looks like they've been very resoundly de defeated in subsequent battles. So... Now we just gotta wait for our last uh, stack of units. 
to come in and, and wrap things up. Oh, they're continuing to harass us. Yeah, and I'm sending out my ironclads out on uh, adventures. Oh! Well, uh... How about that? I, oh yeah, I forgot that these guys had uh, sent down an invasion force, which consisted of the entirety of the clan's generals and three units of Shogunite infantry. So, uh... Yeah. So, I'm hoping that we'll be able to get this battle over with relatively quickly. So, speed it up. Today, sir, we defend. Hopefully soon our, our enemies will, will be running like heathens from a preacher. Oh man, what a hero. Man, apparently they're really underestimating my army because according to the strength bar, we're relatively equal. And I feel like we've got way more men than these guys, than these guys do. So I've started... Um, Rewatching like the old Batman movies. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna rewatch all of them, and like, and by old I don't mean super old, as in you know Adam West, Batman styles. But uh, I'm rewatching some of the older ones in preparation for The Dark Knight Rises, which is gonna come out. Um, I'm pretty sure it's July. I really wish it was June, but I think it's July, and. People know that I'm a pretty huge Batman fan. Although I don't think uh, Dark Knight Rises will be as good as um, the Dark Knight because that was that movie was you know awesome. I love that movie. Everybody loves that movie, but I don't think it's going to be as good. Um, but I'm still interested to see it. But I'm not so big on the villains, you know, Bane and Catwoman. Just they just don't do a lot for me. They're like two of my least favorite villains. Especially Catwoman. I despise Catwoman. I just don't understand what her role is in anything. <laughs> well, these guys are kind of getting murdered. I like their nice backpacks they got. They really, uh... They take everything with them. I wonder why they decided not to give these guys bayonets and they still just have their swords. Even the, the British infantry, they don't have bayonets on there guns, they just have swords. Uh, maybe the bayonet by this time had, had fallen out of out of favor. Are these guys gonna try and climb up or are they just gonna slowly saunter towards the gate here? Man, this is like the most titanic struggle in all of Japan's history right here. I'm gonna speed this up. was fast. <sighs> and then before it began, it was over. So wow, um, these guys are pretty badly crushed. You know, 600 guys lost. Um, only 120 of my guys lost. It was disaster. So I'm guessing these green dudes looks like they're they're trying to just run away. They're just gonna cut their losses and leave. 
Let's get the, uh... Yes? Where's the... Okay. These guys are still gonna take a little while to reach their destination. So I think I am just gonna skip ahead until that time. So I'm gonna... I, I mean, now I'm in the middle of battle here, but, uh... I haven't had the opportunity to use the ramming ability. So... I'm going to come up behind this ironclad that I found floating around my waters and then just use the ramming ability and see what happens. Come on! Ramming speed! Well, that was anticlimactic. Well, or, or not, I was able to make it surrender and sink. Though... Wow, that must have been quite the, quite the ram. Okay. Anyway, apparently I got an achievement for that. So, uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. Later. Alright, so we finally made it. And, uh, well, yeah. Fairly close. Just after this turn. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't look like there are many men, uh, you know, stockpiled in these nearby areas that we can go and smash. Yeah, we're trying to deal with these. <laughs> trying to deal with these slippery bastards. Finally. Um, well, I don't know how much use my Gatling guns are going to be during a siege. Uh, I'm just going to auto-resolve it, and we'll see if we can find a, a, a better battle to show off our newfound toys. not even anybody here either. Okay, well, before, of course, we end the Let's Play, we're gonna have to have, like, one big battle with, uh, you know, our, our massive, uh, new and technologically advanced army. So, I'm gonna send out scouts. We'll see where the biggest army lies. Oh shit, I was also gonna build like a uh God, where are they getting the money for all these ironclads? It's like sitting on st huge stockpiles of money. Gaijin trouble. Sure, we'll pay five hundred bucks to stop whatever it was that I stopped. I don't even need the tax wealth. At the Excuse me, I don't even need the tax wealth at this point. Alright, um... No, biggest army's definitely not there. Yes, I wanted to... Finally build the train station here. To hopefully continue the Trans-Japan Railway. My 
Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't go down here. Anyway, we need to move forward. And see. If we can find a nice large army to just crush. Although, I mean, I probably could continue it until I've had, like, my satisfying, um... Why do these guys keep sending... Geisha here? What are your Geisha gonna do? Alright, well let's let's uh at least siege this. Well we'll play this battle, see if we can, you know, get some spectacular moments out of it. Okay, so uh apparently Today, sir, we attack. I didn't think this through enough because the fortress that we're attacking is like some kind of super crazy um you know death complex or something i'm gonna see if i can move move the gatling guns to a point where they can shoot people who are stationed on the walls in defense okay. well, let's at least get rid of these Archery towers. We'll speed up a little bit. See if the Gatling guns can be somewhat useful in the siege. Their tower is down, sir. Take advantage of it. Yep. Those other no the Gatling guns are still way over here. Apparently these Armstrong guns do not have a lot of ammunition. Alright. So let's see if we can use these things. Oh, looks like they'll reach the walls. But are they actually going to be able to shoot up them is the larger question. Apparently so. be able to slaughter them. How much ammo do these Gatling guns have? Apparently they don't have a lot either. Well, I'm 
definitely gonna have these guys stop f uh, firing. These guys aim at these dudes up here. Yes, they can. What happens if I? I don't know. Apparently I can't fire up, but the uh, <laughs> AI can, for some mysterious and unknown reason. Alright, anyway, let, let's send in some infantry. Let's send in a contingent up over the walls. So this is slightly anticlimactic, though I do believe we're not exactly using these in their intended, you know, circumstances. But man, this is quite the nice uh, stronghold they've built themselves way in the middle of nowhere. Their tower is down, sir. Take advantage, Take advantage of it. See if we can't use this, uh, use these cannons against uh, some of these guys over here. <laughs> 